Hello, Plum here, how's it going champions, and welcome back for another Division 2 build video. I'm really hoping nobody's lactose intolerant, because this one's so cheesy. I made this build a while ago, and I just never really bothered using it. I've had a couple of players recently ask me what to run until they manage to farm for the Ridgeway chest. I'm fully aware that this build is super cheesy, but I guess you could say this is the cheesy poor man's version of it. I reckon a lot of you guys have a fair idea of what this build is, but let's get stuck in and check it out. 3 reds, 3 blues, 1.3mm armour. Trauma chest piece, Eclipse backpack build. First off, as most of my builds, I'm using Firewall Specialization mainly for that OP armor kit. And yeah, I still feel it's quite OP. But we're also going to get 25% burn duration, hence that's why I like to use the Fire Sticky. For the guns for this build, use what you please. But I do feel this lends very well to a ranged gunplay build, so an AR or an LMG I feel is better. I have a Carbine 7 with damage to armor and in sync. Sure, there's some other talents that would probably fit this build better, but I've been trying to time my procking of in sync, so I like to get in some practice. Learning to proc in sync at the right time will give you that extra burst damage, so that's what I'm going for here. The secondary is a black market RPK, and we're getting both our multiplicative damage stats on this one, as well as in sync. It's a really hard hitting LMG, and it also reloads like an AR. For the pistol, I've opted for the card for that plus one skill tier. So running around deploying skills buffs it to a tier skill one. It's not a massive difference, but it does help. All right, let's check out the gear guys. The mask is golem for that 10% status effect and we've got armor, crit hit chance and on this piece alone, 24% crit hit damage. The chest piece is Grupo for that 15% crit hit damage, trying for all reds here, and the talent Trauma. It's not a complicated talent. Headshots apply blind, and body shots apply a bleed. Both have a 30 second cooldown. But on this build, the status effects alone from Trauma nearly last 14 seconds. Also, if you run this as part of a team, and someone in your team is running Ridgeway, this makes it kind of better. 
Why you ask? Because if your target already has bleed, then your body shot doesn't refresh the bleed. Therefore, it doesn't put your trauma skill on cooldown. Sure, the bleed itself doesn't do a heap of damage considering there are other status builds out there, but stacking that damage to armor does affect status effect damage. It also slows down player movement and it buffs your damage because I've got that Eclipse backpack on. Also, it's super annoying and cheesy to be constantly slammed by status effects. We all know that pain. The holster is Seska, a 10% crit hit chance, and it's max weapon, max crit hit damage, and max crit hit chance too. We're running the Fox's Prey knee pads, I've rolled it to armor, it's got that multiplicative damage which is damage to targets out of cover, and crit hit damage. And we've also got the Contractor's Gloves with the multiplicative damage to armor, and this also affects the damage that your status effects do. The backpack is the Eclipse backpack, and for those that don't know, they're probably looking at this build going, what the hell Plum, what are you doing? You don't have any of your bonuses active. Correct, but you don't need the bonuses to get this backpack's talent. Symptom Aggravator. It amplifies all damage you deal to status affected targets by 30%. So again, somebody in your team has that Ridgeway build on. They put bleed on someone and you get that amplified slash multiplicative damage no matter what. See how cheesy this is? And don't worry champions, this isn't a bug or a glitch or an exploit, this actually was intentional. Devs have actually come forward and said so. Pretty crazy, I know. For the skills, I like to use the decoy and try and play a little bit stealthy, and like I mentioned, if you have the card pistol equipped when you deploy your skill, it gets buffed to a plus one skill tier. But if you change weapons while your skill is deployed, it kind of cancels that skill tier. A decoy's duration is 22 seconds, so you can be pretty stealthy with that. Our fire sticky now means it burns for 60% longer, so your enemies can't sprint and they can't ADS either. Pretty cheesy. Heading over to the stat sheet. With the Carbine 7, nearly 52% crit hit chance and 163% crit hit damage with that 14% damage to armor. Same stats for the RPK, but don't forget we're also getting that 18% to damage to targets out of cover because of the LMG and the Fox's knee pads. So yeah, I guess that's kind of the build agents. Look, it's fun to run and it's different from the kinds of builds I normally use, but it's pretty cheesy. Expect to get some salty messages if you choose to run this. So did you like it? Then smash the like button and if you didn't like it, press the dislike. But remember, support me and the channel, hit that sub button and become a creepy subscriber. And I'll catch you all in the next one champs, I'm Plum, Plum out.